Hi guys, I'm back with another video and this time this look is very versatile unlike the other one. Um, the other one was a fade effect from black to light blue and this one I wanted to do the same thing but in neutral colors. This time it's the fade effect from dark brown to gold and everything in between so hopefully you guys enjoy. Um, this is very versatile like I said so you can do this look for day and or night. And um, I still wanted some red lips, but I wanted to be much softer than the last video. So instead of using a lipstick, I used a lip gloss in cherry red. So hopefully you guys find it very easy to follow and like this video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and do not forget to subscribe. So we're going to start out by using a flat synthetic brush from Urban Decay. And we're going to be applying a base and it's called Cookie by Paul Dorf and it's an eye cream after we apply the base we're going to be getting a dome brush and we're going to be taking Snake Bite by Urban Decay, which is a coppery brown medium tone of an eyeshadow. And we're going to be applying it on our crease very lightly. After we apply Snake Bite, we're going to be taking a fluffy brush and just blending out the harsh lines, making it even, blending it out very softly and very thoroughly. After we blend it out with that same brush, we're going to be taking a matte light brown shade and this one I'm using is Twinks by MAC and what I'm going to be doing is just basically applying it right on top. I'm going to get a flat shader brush and use Half Baked from Urban Decay's Naked 2 palette which is a gold eyeshadow and apply it from my tear duct area to the center of my lid. Now you don't want to be afraid of this gold because in every single color eye, gold makes your eye pop out. So I'm going to apply a good amount. With the same exact brush, I'm going to be applying Chopper which is a nice bronze copper color and blended in from the center of my lid with that half-baked color a little bit to the outside of the center to make sure you see that fade effect from the gold to that nice bronze color. Next, I'm going to be taking Busted, which is a nice satin dark brown color. And I'm going to take that same dome brush from the beginning and applying that color on the outside corner of our eye. Now since I'm working with satin eyeshadows, you want to make sure that everything looks crisp and clean and there's not a lot of satin sheen all over your eye. So I took my fluffy brush again and I dumped it into a translucent powder and I'm basically cleaning it out, putting it on my highlight and making sure my whole eye doesn't overtake that satin effect. And I'm going to continue to blend it out a little bit more. You can if you want to. I'm going to use a flat blending brush and just apply a highlight color and blend it out a little bit more. I'm going to apply next Twinks, which is a nice gold shimmer pigment from Pure Luxe Cosmetics. And I'm going to apply it on my tear duct area right on top of Half Baked. Time for eyeliner 
and I'm gonna apply my liquid eyeliner. I'm gonna create a little bit of a wing on both my eyes. And I apply mascara on my both top lashes. With an angled brush, I'm going to take Blackout, which is a matte black from the same palette, and apply it on the corner of my bottom lash line. And take Busted, which is right next to it, and blend it together, connecting it with that gold. Now to complete the eyes, I'm going to be applying mascara on my bottom lashes. Time for the lips. I didn't buy foundation this time. I'm just going to be applying lip gloss. And this is from e.l.f. It's called Cherry Tart. And I'm going to be smoothing it out throughout my lips. And that completes the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching and do not forget to subscribe.